The paper is about a very specific subset of white blood cells called lymphocytes that you can only find at epithelial barrier sites, that is the skin and your intestine for example. And the main message of the paper is that these cells, the ones in the, in the intestine that is, need a very specific compound um, to survive. And this component you can find in green vegetables. Um, so the central message of the paper is that eating your green vegetables is very important for your intestinal immune system. There are several types of immune cells in the intestine, and there are several layers of them. The first layer are called intraepithelial lymphocytes, and that's what this story is about. The exact function is not really known, um, but they are important in maintaining the epithelial barrier. They have an interaction with um, the epithelial cells and make them grow. That is, your, your villi, so the little structures in your intestine, they constantly turn over because um, when you digest food, they get damaged, and these cells are important in replenishing new cells. Secondly, there are immune cells after all, um, they keep some uh, unwanted bacteria at bay, so they don't invade your tissues and cause an inflammation. All the experiments were performed on mice, and what we did was feeding mice their standard diet and looked at the amount of intraepithelial lymphocytes they harbor in their intestine. Then we gave the same very healthy mice a different diet that doesn't contain any vegetable components. And to our surprise, all the intraepithelial lymphocytes, or almost all, disappeared. These are immune histochemistry pictures of um, a part of the intestine and we stain this for immune uh, cells which are shown in red and we show the, uh, the epithelial barrier which is shown in green. And we see in the wild type control mouse that the cells are there and very closely interacting with the epithelial cells. And in the next image we showed in the absence of vegetables or in the absence of the areal hydrocarbon receptor. All of these cells have not only disappeared from the epithelial barrier but they are not visible at all. The lymphocytes we're studying, the intraepithelial lymphocytes, are a very particular subset of cells. They're made in the embryo already. Um, so there was a theory that maybe their um, development was affected, which turns out not to be the case, or their migration, so they move from a central organ to the intestine. We actually find that the uh, cells are uh, migrating properly, they arrive in the organ, but then they disappear. So it turns out that the green vegetable component is necessary for the survival of these cells. Without it, um, they, they die. This is our model, so this is a graphical representation of the gut, uh, the finger-like structure you see on the left. In the gut you have the intraepithelial lymphocytes, here highlighted in blue, and these are the cells that express the areal hydrocarbon receptor. This receptor gets stimulated by uh, the compound found in green vegetables, and as a consequence these cells perform their function, they provide growth factors for the epithelial cells to turn over, and they do their immune surveillance. And as a consequence of that, you have few but sufficient amount of bacteria here surrounding the intestine. In the absence of green vegetables, the intraepithelial lymphocytes arrive in the gut, but they die. As a consequence, the finger-like structures are unhealthy looking. There is no longer the immune surveillance, so the build-up of bacteria is much greater. So you see all these little things around the village structure. And to keep those bacteria at bay, we get other white blood cells called T cells migrating into the villi and providing uh, an inflammatory environment. Well, the intestine are full with bacteria. You have very good bacteria and, and less good bacteria. Um, and one of the things we see in aging people is that the amount of opportunistic infections goes up. These intraepithelial lymphocytes are very important in maintaining that balance between good bacteria and not so good bacteria. So we think that eating your five portions of green and uh, vegetables a day would really help maintaining a very healthy intestinal flora. And that would be very beneficial for a long life. The research was carried out at the National Institute for Medical Research, which got its funding from the Medical Research Council. Um, all the mouse work was performed there. In addition, um, the second part of the project was performed at the Baberman Institute in Cambridge, which gets its funding from the BBSRC.